Hello guys and welcome back. My name is Claudio from the CS Tech and first of all sorry for my English. My English is not my native language so I'll try my best to explain you what I'm gonna do in this test. In this test I will charge, I will test this uh, charge controllers and MPPT. You see my earlier video when I make unboxing for heat. This charger uh, will uh, pick up energy from the sun. I have some here some PV connection cable DC from my solar panel. The DC connection from solar panel will go inside this unit. From here I have the uh, positive wire directly from uh, battery uh, positive to battery positive. The battery that I use in this test is a Tesla battery. It's uh, 5 kilowatts hour, it's 24 volts battery. And of course I have the negative wire. The negative is wire is going through a, a Victron power battery monitor. I make this test because I want to see if uh, the amount of energy that is shown on his LCD display is the same amount of energy that is going to a Tesla battery. Also I make this test because many of you send me a message and ask me, okay, this uh, MPPT charger can uh, can charge the Tesla battery and I say okay let's let's uh, test it. In the test I will use the Victron uh, app for uh, monitoring the amount of energy that is going from uh, this device through uh, shunt to the, to the battery and of course I will use the original my green application from this MPPT charger because he is connected via this uh, cloud box and I will receive the um, all information real time on my phone. So let me connect the PV in and start the test. Uh, and and also, I want to test the load output because this device has the load output. The load output acts as a switch. For example, when the battery is fully charged, you can configure the load output in order to give you energy and use for other devices. For example, if you install this uh, unit in your RV van, you will charge the battery, and once the battery is fully charged, the load will start, and of course, the heating or the cooling will start based on this uh, load output. So the load output acts as a switch. The switch can be personalized into the app. You can set up by the time, by the PV voltage, by the battery state of charge, and of course by the battery voltage. So all these parameters can be configured in order to uh, turn on and turn off the load. Now I have connected to this device uh, three solar panels in series, and of course I have two series in parallel in order to achieve 1000 uh, watts or one kilowatt hour because I want to receive one kilowatt and send it to this battery. Okay, let's connect the positive because the, the negative is already connected. In fact, it's backward. Let's connect the negative because the positive is connected. Oh, let's start. I think you will hear the fan right now. The unit will make a lot of noise. And he start. To do this, I will open my phone. How I said earlier, the fan already start. Let's open the Victron Connect because here I have a shunt, a shunt or battery monitor from Victron Energy and it's connected via Bluetooth to my phone. And in this way, I will receive the information in real time on my phone and compare this real time information with the display one. So in this moment, let me charge. Okay, in this moment, I have on the device 800 volts and also on Victron, I have, let me turn on the display. Come on. Oh, he have many functions here on the display, so you must be very careful when you press because you can't go back. You must go. Okay, 1068 volts, 1068. On the Victron, you can see it's the same. So I have 1061, 1065, 64. So this test is to, to see if the information that is shown on this LCD display is the same that uh, is going to the battery. I put the shunt, the battery monitor between and I measure the exact amount of energy that is going from here to the battery. So in this moment I have uh, 160, 200, 400, sorry, outside is cloudy and the, the panel are uh, put it to the, on, my, on my building and of course uh, we have some clouds there. So 200 watts, 201, 201. Yes, this is very nice, it's a very good device and it's uh, um, working okay. So what you can see over here is the same amount of energy that is going to your battery. So uh, based on this, this device for me, it's okay. Let's, uh, let's see again. 443, 443. Yes, in this moment, this unit can deliver you 
40 amps so what you can read on the box is is correct uh, because the, my battery is connected to 24 volts and this device also was set up to charge this lithium battery from tesla he can uh, charge my battery with the maximum amount of energy that he can deliver for example if on the label you can see he will deliver maximum 1040 volts in this moment he will deliver 1024 volts so my battery is charging with 49 amps so 49 39 amps sorry 39.2.3 yes 39.3 so let me disconnect the the positive from the pv solar because uh, I have a problem with the battery, battery is fully charged and I want to make some other test and if I charge the battery to 100% I must discharge and I don't have anything to discharge this monster of battery, it's 5 kilowatts hour. Let me check again if my, oh my god, no, okay I want to check my PV in to see if what PV in, PV in, load, no. Fifty-seven, fifty-seven point one, fifty-seven point two. So all the data you can see on the, this display is real and is very accurate. So if you want to decide and if you want to buy this uh, MPPT charger and you want to start your own uh, setup for a PV solar system, don't hesitate. In the description below you can find the link for this device. It's one hundred and fifty dollars. It's uh, free shipping and of course you can receive receive worldwide. For example, I'm from Europe, I ordered from AliExpress and they deliver it from Germany. In only four days I received this unit in my office. So now look at me, I'm standing over here talking to you and uh, we are making some testing in the real life. So in conclusion, the cheap device, it's a this cheap device is a good device. The amount of energy that is shown on the display is the real amount of energy that is going to the battery. And of course, he can charge lithium batteries from Tesla. How I say earlier, I have here 5 kilowatts hour for Model X. Sorry guys, I pick up the batteries and I use it in the, my solar system array. So, if this video was, uh, was good enough for you and you received some information, don't hesitate. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell in order to receive notification once we put a new video online. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, stay with us, hit the bell. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.